welcome, welcome. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you a quick tutorial on my options menu, which I'll be showing off now. Um, it's very simple. Um, I'm not going to be writing it to an INI file at the moment, but when I figure that out, I will update you. So to show you what I mean, I will show you the menu first, and then we'll continue. So each button obviously sets the As you can see, it sets the different qualities. Um, so post processing off, low, medium, and high. Okay, the post processing does not show up properly, um, and view distance for some reason does not seem to work. Okay. Now that it's daytime, you will be able to see it better. Um, then clicking apply, I just have not fixed that yet. So that's the one, that's the option that will save it to the file, as you can see over there. Um, so let's go back and let, let me show you what the viewpoint looks like. So this is that's the level viewpoint. Sorry guys. So I have a let's see menu. All right. So on options. Right, so on the clicked event, it will hide the main menu and create the options blueprint and show it up, which means that this will pop up. So, um, this is very simple, this is just buttons. So, if you were to add another button, and you just add a button, add text, and on click event, you'll see. Um, I will use, I will do this again, so yeah, drag it out, um, command, execute console command, and go straight, then the command you can find over here, the command is done with, oops, sorry, um, yeah, I will edit this part out probably, command is done with, so I will link, leave a link in the description. So what's happening here is if we do shadows for example, here we go. So uh, this explains very well. So you'll see SG shadow quality is zero. That means it is that shadows, which means they are off. Um, so you basically just copy paste or you can make it a string if you'd like. I just find that I don't need a string. And then you carry on. That's the one done. Save, compile, then go back to design. Next button, create the button, add the effects, unclick, view, and then instead of zero, you just add one. So, all it's doing is, as you can see, I just go through every single um, shadow. Oh, for example, these textures. I still have not done the textures, but for example, I've done post-processing, I've done 1, 2, 3, um, so off would be 0, low would be 1, medium would be 2, and high would be 3. Um, you'll see a lot of the options that just set as is here, it's a very good website, but I'll leave you guys in the description, and thanks for watching. Um, once again, I will show you the it works. Uh, for example, the distance scaling is done with the slider, so it is done like so. Um, it just uses a string that I created, view distance scale, so that I can add a zero and then the value from the actual slider. Um, resolution scaling does the exact same thing, just with a different command, as you can see, screen percentage instead. Um, so post processing effect also done in the same way and then um, button 74 is my back button so what's happening is I'm clicking it and it will remove options from parents so it will remove it from viewport and it will create another widget called menu which is this widget again which allows me to basically go back to my main main screen and then it will add the menu widget to the viewport. 
alright, then um, this is the code that I've been working on for the apply button. Um, so it's, the apply button is going to create a saved game object with the actual graphics qualities. So how that's going to work is I'm going to be using the graphics quality. So the graphics quality will be gotten with. Okay, I just opened up Visual Studio. The graphics quality will be gotten with um, with the blueprints, as you can see here. Will be gotten on create. So the game will either load the graphics qualities, or it will create the lowest or an automatic. I'm still trying to work on that, and then it will. Um, actually put them in as a command. Alright, thanks for watching guys and I'll check you next time.